Did you know? The American robin isn't technically a robin, it's actually a thrush. It is believed that early settlers named our American robin after their beloved European robin, also known as robin redbreast because of the resemblance of coloration. And apparently this wasn't the only bird they named robin. Bluebirds were called robin, towhees were called ground robins, and the Baltimore Oriole the golden robin. It seems that for the English, any birds with any amount of reddish coloration reminded them of their little robin back home. Or is that really true? Ronald H. Warrer, a retired National Park Service park interpreter, scientist, research specialist, and the author of The American Robin, stated in the first chapter of his book that it was the American Robin's friendly manner, close relationship to humans, and wide distribution that reminded the English of their beloved robin redbreast back home. Like European robins, American robins are well adapted to living with humans, liking the scattered trees and broad lawns of urban parks and suburban housing developments sometimes even following gardeners around to reap the bounty of worms that pop up as they turn over the soil. An interesting thing to note, though, is that the English settlers had another bird back home that is almost exactly like the American robin, much more so than the European robin, and it too is a true thrush. It's the Eurasian blackbird, aka common blackbird. The blackbird is about the same size and shape, and other than its color, it's pretty much the American robin. In fact, you might be tempted to say that it's an American robin that got covered in soot. Their behavior is very similar too. The way they move across lawns in search of worms is almost identical. The Eurasian blackbird is common in cities and gardens, just like the American robin and European robin. Despite this though, the early settlers seen the European robin and the American robin over their common blackbird back home. There are two birds, however, named after the European robin that seems to make more sense. That is the scarlet robin and red-capped robin from Australia. These birds, although not apparently closely related to the robin from Europe, is of a very similar size and shape, and they look a lot like them too. The name Robin is a common British nickname for a close family member. Initially it derived from the French Robert. Older names for the little Robin were Ruddock, a name used by Shakespeare, and Robinette. The American Robin also had a few names before the British labeled it a Robin, such as Merle from early French Canadians. Merle was also a name used for European blackbirds, suggesting that the early French Canadians might have seen a striking resemblance of the Eurasian blackbird in the American Robin. There were apparently also two German names given to the American Robin, such as... Yeah, I'm not going to be able to pronounce that, so... <coughs> Die Wanderdrossel And... Rotkirchen Yeah, those words. Early Americans called it Wandering Thrush, and the scientific name for American Robin is Turtus Migratorius. Turtus is Latin for thrush, and Migratorius is Latin for migratory, a name derived from migro, meaning to move from one place to another. When I first learned where our robin got its name, I looked up a picture of the European robin and was a little perplexed by it because it isn't very similar looking. But now that I know that it wasn't just the red breast, but also the behavior of our robin that made them think of their little robin, I can see why they did. So what do you think? Does it make sense to you that early settlers bestowed the name Robin on our red-breasted thrush? Or do you see the common blackbird in our American Robin? Personally, I see the common blackbird in our American Robin, but I can understand why they called it a Robin. Although, it does make me wonder why there was no thought of their common blackbird back home. I think it may be safe to say that the little Robin redbreast is truly adored by the English. That's it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. I will be taking a small break from uploading these episodes so that I can work on completing new ones and hopefully it won't be very long before I'm back to uploading them. In the meantime though, if you want to see more stuff from me, check out my Leslie the Bird Nerd Facebook page. I post videos and pictures there just about every day. Thanks for watching. Happy birding.